Hello everyone, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología. In this video we're going to show you the English version of how to set up your own surveillance system even for your home or your office. Uh, and this time we're going to show you from the basics, setting up your system, your IP address, connecting your cameras and how to install the hard drive. We're going to start by st installing the hard drive. Uh, this one is the product that we're going to use. It is a 16 channel DVR from Hike Vision. This one is the product page that you can get even at your local store. And you're going to be able to set it up very, very easily. It has HDMI, VGA, LAN ports, USB for mouse and for keyboard, and some e input and output ports. We're going to remove the screws from the back to have access to the inside of the DVR. Right here is uh, we're going to use this um, Seagate Skyhawk two terabyte hard drive. Mm, we recommend it very much because it has a it, it has been specifically designed for for DVRs as it has a lot of uh, writing and reading cycles uh, endurance. It is a very good practice to label your hard drive with a with a date that you bought it in order to track your uh, how much this this uh, hard drive is going to last in case you need to maintain in the future right here we're going to connect the SATA cable and the and the power cable both included with a with the DVR right here the only consideration that you have to take into account is that you're not going to uh, have a discharge uh, static electricity discharge into the the components after that we're going to put back the lid of the DVR, we're going to put back the screws, being very careful not to forget the two in the in the middle. Good. Now we're going to uh, take everything out of the package. We're going to have the power cable. We're going to have the 12 volt DC adapter, the mouse, and we're going to connect everything directly to the DVR. Don't forget the LAN cable. This uh, LAN cable comes from directly from your router or from a switch that is connected to your network. This one is the, the mouse port, the one that is in the back. Either port will work for the mouse. And after that, we're going to connect the screen. It has uh, conveniently two ports for HDMI or VGA, the 15 pin connector. In this case, we have connected a VGA cable and we're going to proceed to to boot up the DVR. This DVR didn't have any hard drive, but it had previously been configured. So it is going to ask me if I want to format the hard drive, to which I'm going to say yes. This one is the, the setup that we're going to use. We're going to use this camera that has already been connected and we're going to connect it to the power adapter that is included with the camera. It is a 12 volt, one amp, um, 12 volt DC adapter. Right here with these two terminal video terminals, we're going to represent um, how we can connect the cameras to our system. This is uh, this video balance actually represents something that could have hundreds of feet of cable included. This one is UTP cable. We're going to use this blue pair to connect one end to the camera and the other one and the other end to one port of our DVR. Remember that this uh, represents uh, about 300 feet of cable, sometimes a, a little bit more, and the connection to the camera that can be uh, far away from the system. We're going to proceed now to boot up the system and it is going to ask us for to set up the admin password. So please use numbers, letters, and uh, if possible, special characters. Uh, once you set up your password, you're going to click OK. And the device is going to be activated. Mm, after this, you're going to draw the unlock pattern. Uh, we're going to use a very simple one here. So we don't forget it. We're going to set up the system language. And you're going to uncheck uh, this wizard to start every time the device starts. 
you're going to set up the time zone, the date format, the system date and the system time. Uh, this is something very important as uh, it is going to be something that's going to be always shown in the in the watermark of each one of the recordings. Right here is something very important. If you have the HCP enabled, which is the, the default, you're going to choose or you're going to uncheck it and you're going to change only the uh, in your case, you're going to change only the last digit of the IPv4 address for your network. This uh, is specifically is, is something that is very important uh, so you're going to access your device remotely even e either from your network or from outside your uh, premises leave the rest of the of the parameters um, unchanged it is something very important the dns the default gateway and the subnet mask is something that it is going to be copied from the DHCP server in this case or in your case it may be your router uh, you are not going to use the cloud the high cloud so we're going to uncheck it and we're going to change the ports remember server port is the port that the the app or the mobile app is going to use so try to write this down and you don't forget them because you're going to need them later by the way, if you're going to have just one device in your network, you're not going to need to change any of these parameters and you might want to leave them uh, unchanged. Uh, in this case, as I have several, um, I'm going to put some different values here so I can configure them afterwards in my, in my mobile app, in my desktop app, and of course I will have to configure my router in order to redirect these ports directly to my DVR uh, right here I'm going to check the hard drive that I have installed and I'm going to check initialize in the in the bottom uh, at our right once the device has been initialized of course it tells us that uh, it, needs, it is going to be erased and formatted you're going to click next um, this one is something very important you're going to check motion detection you're going to check OK and we're going to go directly to the menu in camera and we're going to uh, motion and we're going to increase the sensitivity this is something that by my experience I have found to be very useful in order to get the best result out of your recording you copy it to all the cameras and then you click OK then uh, in OSD in on-screen display you're going to name each one of your cameras now we're going to show you how to download the IVMS 4500 app so you can monitor your cameras from uh, the application that is that has been developed by the manufacturer useful and it has very cool and neat features you might want to download it even though you think you might not be or it might not be the best solution for you uh, once we install it and we open it we can figure the region the the, the place uh, where you are located and we're going to add our first device we're going to click on add manual we're going to uh, name it click uh, on IP domain which is going to be how we are going to access my, our cameras we're going to type the IP address of the camera the server port that you remembered we changed in this case we're going to use the default and the password once we save this device we're going to be able to go back to devices and start live view this live view is going to show us uh, the cameras that are connected of course in this case we're going to switch to 16 camera view and we're going to see the camera that we installed on top of your our desktop this is our camera remember that um, we can do many nice things with this uh, application we can uh, switch it from one camera to another one just by swiping your your finger through the screen uh, we can go back to the live view 
and we're going now to set up our client software that is included in the DVD or CD that is with that comes with our product we're going to go to the folder client and install with the default application parameters and we're going to set up exactly as we did with the mobile app right here it is going to ask you once you open your your shortcut in the desktop it is going to ask you for a username and password that is going to set up the first time you open this program by default the app is going to send you to this configuration page where you can add the devices that you have installed on your network right here I'm going to add a couple remember is exactly what we did on the mobile app and we just need to to provide the, the correct parameters this application that you just installed is a desktop application is very cool it has a lot of features you can add many devices you can access very quickly your recordings you can group uh, cameras from different DVRs into just one main view and a lot of great stuff that Hikvision has done okay everyone that's all for today remember to to check like this video if you liked it and uh, don't forget to check our other stuff we hope you enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot from it see you soon